morning church swim hornets. Today is Wednesday, February 26th, and this is your church swim morning bus. I'm Aubrey. And I'm Bailey. Our vision is that we will partner with the parents and the community to provide an engaging learning environment while also scale their full potential to be ready for the 21st century. Our P P I S buzzers are that will be respectful, responsible, and safe. Our school motto is that church is a caring and respectful place where everyone learns and grows together. Please stand as we say our Pledge of Allegiance. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Your lunch choices today are PB&J and crispable, chicken pie with roll, celery sticks, green beans, mashed potatoes, pineapple tidbits, and fresh fit fruit. Congratulations to the following students for being nominated for Breath Rick. Sophia Garcia on 261. And Adriana Garcia on 261. Happy birthday to Gadiel Garcia Diaz and Susan Howe. Our strange but true fact is that a light bulb, lighting bowl is three times hotter than the sun. Today's so will be scattered showers with a high temperature of 65 degrees. February's mm -hmm. Hornet of the Month trait is patience. An example of patience is if you're ready to get the new game that has came out, but they sold out and you are given patience while waiting for the game to come back in stock. Our upcoming events for this week are <clears throat> today, K through third grade will be going on a field trip to the Charity League Play at 9 o'clock. Thursday, February 27th is our fun run day. And we will also have <clears throat> our one book adventure. There's a third grade parent meeting at 7.30 in the Media Center. Information about the times came home already, but it's also listed on our website. On February 28th, we will have our school store, so get ready to shop. <clears throat> this has been your student morning news crew. We're signing off, but stay tuned in to watch today's Booster Thon Fun Run video starting now. Students, welcome back to our last gathering of Mind Spark Wild West. Let's do the cheer on the count of three. One, two, three, Mind Spark. Wild West! Awesome job! So, over the past two weeks, we've helped the MindSpark kids compete in all five character duels. And in the process, we've learned about honesty, gratitude, generosity, kindness, and humility. Now it's time to see how much you learned. First, we learned about honesty when Molly Math defeated Lucky Lucy in a game of Go Fish. Okay, now it's time to put you to the test. Say you're taking a test that you weren't quite ready for. Should you look at your neighbor's answers or do the best you can and study harder next time? That's right, you can do it. Just study harder next time. Here's another. We learned about gratitude when Adam Art defeated Plucky Jenkins in a game of dueling banjos. Remember, gratitude means being thankful for everything in your life, both the good and the bad. Here's your test. Say your parents make you meatloaf for dinner and it's not your favorite meal. Should you thank your parents for taking the time to cook you dinner or complain about having to eat something you don't really like? Good, thank them anyway. Next, we learned about generosity when Sammy Science defeated Moneybags McGee in a duel to see who could pan for the most gold. So, which actions do you think shows what it means to live with generosity? Let's say you and your friend finish your classwork assignment before everyone else. Should you distract your classmates by talking to each other loudly? or help another classmate with his assignment. You got it. Give your classmate a hand. Next, we learned about kindness when Ellie Engineering defeated Wooly the Bully in the horseshoe toss. Say your classmate falls on the playground. Should you keep playing or stop and see if they're okay? What do you think? Yes, stop and see if they're okay. All right, last test. Remember when we learned about humility as Tamika Tech lost her duel to Slingshot Sally? It took all of their skills to bring her back. Now which action shows the most humility? Bragging to all your friends about how good you are at basketball? Or teaching your friends how to shoot a jump shot? 
That's it! Teach your friends those skills too! Well, you've passed all the tests. Remember to live with character, just put into practice all five of the character traits you learned through MindSpark Wild West. Okay, students, for the last time, let's do the cheer on the count of three. One, two, three, MindSpark Wild West. And that's Booster 